We made this video and compiled a list of plugins that can be quite brilliant and extremely helpful for graphic designers. We discuss what they do and how much they cost. With that being said, let's start talking about these plugins. Create unique characters and their world through ideation and practical exercises that can be applied to various media. This Domestica course is presented by Nathan Jurevicius, an illustrator, filmmaker, toy designer, author, and concept artist. Follow along as he shares his personal approach to creating unique and meaningful characters and how to envision and create the worlds they inhabit. Nathan worked with huge brands and companies from all over the world, such as IKEA, Kid Robot, and Hasbro. Throughout the course, you'll learn how to gather your reference and how to form your thought maps. You'll also learn how to formulate characters and their worlds to help you generate your own engaging universe. And as you venture deeper in this course, you'll learn the steps of what makes a good character and how to imagine the world they inhabit through different techniques and mediums. At the end, after finishing your project, you'll see how you can assess your work and determine what could be improved. Nathan will also explain how you can stay motivated in your personal and professional life. If you're interested in this course, you'll find all the necessary links in the description box below. As a graphic designer, it can be very hard to find a brilliant way of presenting your work in your portfolio or to a client and to convince them this is what they want and they were looking for. A lot of time using perspective can be the right way to do that. It gives a fresh, modern and special look to your design and it's all the rage these days actually. Especially with the rise of simple, minimalistic corporate logos that need a bit of glitz and glam to look good. So your logo looks boring, making your design and then trying to apply some sort of perspective on them, the right way of course, is about as hard as it sounds. That's when perspective mockups comes in handy. It will put your design in a beautiful perspective view in seconds. No need for you to get all sweaty making that manually. You can get this bad body of a plugin for 19 US dollars. Guide Guide. Now that's a name, my friend. Guide Guide is a very easy plugin to figure out just by that name, isn't it? Created by Cameron McPhee, this plugin basically makes grids and guidelines easy for you to figure out and work with. This plugin can be a wonderful tool if your graphic design work involves a lot of grids and guidelines. The UI of the plugin seamlessly integrates within Photoshop on top of other software such as Illustrator and Adobe XD and others. Creating grids, marking edges and midpoints, and creating complex guidelines has never been easier with GuideGuide. Guide. The price for this plugin is either $36 a year or $5 a month. It's your pick. As a graphic designer, it can be really nice to have nice looking things around you while working. Hey, you never know, that could very well inspire you. Created by Rico Holmes and offered to you for the simple price of 16 US dollars, RH Hover Color Picker comes to the rescue from Photoshop's ugly color widgets. The RH Hover Color Picker's interface is made in a way that prominently presents the color sliders and widgets in a clean and sleek way. The hover in the name refers to the way the plugin will disappear once you want that extra space to take a good look at your design. This can be a great way to work with your design in a fast, effective, and non-clunky painful process. There's also an option available where you can lock the plugin in the software's UI, meaning it won't disappear if you wouldn't want it to. Pretty healthy relationship, I, I approve. Font Self Maker is a plugin made to help you create your own fonts as easily as possible. Developed by the Font Self team and available for purchase for about 60 US dollars for Photoshop and Illustrator, this plugin can change your workflow and efficiency for the better, especially if making fonts for specific designs or logos is a big part of your work or the services you provide. This plugin will allow you to turn any shape into a glyph just by dragging and dropping it. 
It also has a feature where you can add as many alternatives to your glyphs as you want. It has many features, such as ligatures, spacing, kerning, colorful fonts, and a lot more. This plugin is basically an all-you-can-make front plugin. This plugin is basically an all-you-can-make font plugin. Wait, does that even make sense? Too late, moving on to the next plugin line. That's a good pun. You can't convince me otherwise. Okay, all right, no more dad jokes, moving along. On One Resize is a plugin developed by On One and offered for about 100 US dollars. This plugin will allow you to enlarge your photos without losing their quality. You can say goodbye to worrying about the size of your image and its quality. The plugin will also compress your images, do batch processing, and offer a plethora of built in presets with manual controls. It can even do some file browsing work on top of all of that. This can be a great tool to make your work a lot easier if it involves mixing photos with graphic design. Imagine taking the perfect picture for a client and then finding that it's not big enough or finally finding that perfect picture to fit your design and boom, it is not the right size. Well, there will be no more of that thanks to On One's Resize plugin. The famous media supplier Getty Images made a free plugin for all of your graphic design needs. What this plugin does essentially is give you the ability to search, download, and import images from Getty Images to Photoshop without having to manually do it. Of course, doing so does not affect the image quality whatsoever. What's also awesome about it is your edits are automatically carried over from the composition phase to the actual final and licensed version. All of your downloaded and purchased images are already available to you. The plugin has many more features to make using Getty Images from within the software easier for you. Having a trusty source for all of your images one click away as a graphic designer is extremely important. So we can't really recommend this one plugin enough, especially since it's fully free. All right, picture this. You're a graphic designer and need a bit of texture or filters to make your design pop up. Well, suddenly you remember you have over 14,000 filters and textures. How awesome is that? In my opinion, it's actually pretty awesome. This is what Filter Forge 10 is all about, actually. It's a plugin with a buttload of filters and textures. Another feature in the plugin is essentially an editor that allows you to tamper with filters to make your own if the 14,000 filters and textures just didn't do it for you. The newest version of this plugin, Filter Forge 11, also has other features such as procedural animation and sequential image rendering. Depending on the purchase plan you choose, this plugin can cost you anywhere from 59 to 818 US dollars. You should seriously consider taking a look at their website. It has some super awesome stuff. This one is a bit of a different beast in comparison to all the others on the list. Instead of a single plugin, Nick Collection, created by Nick Collection DXO, is a collection of plugins for Photoshop consisting mainly of photo effects, which are hyper specialized and refined. The collection offers a non destructive mode that will allow you to edit your image to no end while having the original image safely tucked. The publisher offers plenty of purchase plans. The price can go anywhere from roughly 200 to 300 US dollars. If you happen to be a web developer like me alongside being a graphic designer, this plugin can quite possibly change your life for the better. To be brief, this plugin will turn your layers in Photoshop to CSS3. Literally, the plugin has plenty of features, such as text layers, cloud services, multiple layer selection, vendor prefixes, size, border radius, stroke, gradient overlay, and many, many more. And the best part in all of this is how it's totally free. Yes, that's right, free, I tell you. 
You can get your own CSS3 PS plugin today by going to their website and simply downloading it. We've now come to the end of our video. We hope it has given you an idea on all the plugins that can help you make your graphic design process and workflow a lot better and easier. If you have any plugins that you like and think we might have missed, be sure to comment them down below for everyone else to see so everyone can benefit. With that being said, thank you very much for watching and see you next time. Bye.